Preceptor. My lord. It has begun. The power is already building. Are you ready for your task? We shall not fail you, my lord. The price of failure is Armageddon. God, go with you. Got a girlfriend, George? No, nah, not really. <laughs> well, what does that mean? Oh, there was a girl in Paris, but it didn't work out. <laughs> oh, way to go, mate. I've heard about those French babes. <laughs> I think she'd be interested in a good-looking Aussie pushman, eh? Only if it helped her career. <laughs> Weather like this, the old crate flies herself. How about weather like that? Lucky we got two. Just another couple of seconds and we'll be laughing. You better strap yourself in, George. As Paris waits to yet another clear, hot day, in the south, the bizarre weather continues. Marseille, 20 days of rain. Bordeaux, 30. And across the world, from Beijing to New York, there are reports of earth tremors. Floods, typhoons. Who is it? Vernon Blier? It's Nicole Collard. You're early. You said it was uh, urgent. We don't have much time. The power sources are building to a peak. It's all in the manuscript. Look, I decoded it. No one's ever done that. They paid me serious money. But the Earth? We're all in danger. Now they want to kill me because I know too much. Somehow, we'd landed in the jungle, and I was alive. Then, I smelled smoke. I was going to have to get out, and fast. I unfastened the seatbelt carefully. The buckle was quick release. I soon had the crate freed up. You never know when a beer's going to come in handy. It was Harry Gilligan, the pilot, out cold. Searching Harry turned up a handy bottle opener. Harry! Harry, wake up! <laughs> Slapping him wasn't gonna work. Oh, 
Cheers, mate. Oh, I came to a while back. <laughs> Thought I'd grab 40 winks. Oh, I don't get much chance in my line. Uh, oh. What were you doing flying us into that storm? You nearly got us killed. Oh, calm down, will you? The storm came from nowhere. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Weird. So how far is it to the landing strip? Well, not far. We were right on top of it when the storm hit. You okay, Harry? Sure, mate. Do you drink this stuff all the time? <sighs> Tastes like angel sweat. I borrowed your bottle opener. No sweat. The plane's completely trashed. Ah, no big deal. Well, how can you be so calm about it? I won it in a card game. Terrific. Got a free tank of fuel, too. Which was lucky. Why? Well, we wouldn't have got here without it. Here goes. Yes. Whoa. Maybe not. I was going to need more weight at the back of the plane. But what? Are you trying to kill us? You okay, Harry? Sure, mate. Harry. We need more ballast at the back of the plane. Okay, George, if you think it'll help. Harry, just don't Stay there! Phew! That was close. Oh, I don't know. Could have been worse. Yeah? I might still have been in it. Trying to cheer me up, Harry? Ha! Ah, you know, you're not bad for a yank. That makes me feel a whole lot better. We make a great team. Hmm. Oh, I could help you out. Here, with your work. Be your driver. Sort out the locals. Harry, like I told you, I'm only here to meet someone, then I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, maybe I know the fella. I doubt it. Guy called Chalmundali. Never heard of him. Exactly. What's he do? He's a scientist. Well, what kind of a scientist? He lives in the jungle, says he's built a machine that can create limitless energy. I'm a patent lawyer. He wants me to write the patent. Make us all rich, okay? Capiche? Oh, I see. A mad scientist. <sighs> I don't want to be rude, George, but did you seriously believe all that crap? Of course not. But have you ever lived in Idaho? Fair enough. Now what are we gonna do? Well, you lead the way. This isn't gonna be easy. That's why you're in front, George. Quit messing around, mate. Guess next time I'll avoid the scenic route. Yeah, well, when you've had your bit of fun, I'll see you at the top.
is he? I don't know. I don't know. For God's sake, I've told you everything I know. For which I am deeply grateful. Nevertheless, it was always my intention to kill you. Goodbye, Mr. Cholmondeley. How many times? It's not Cholmondeley, it's...